Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's Black Ops Cold War video. Guys, I'd be lying if I didn't tell you that this was my second full recording. I just recorded a whole entire video, and I thought it was awesome. I had a 40-plus gameplay. I had around 20 deaths, so nothing special there. But, you know, I had some good information. We were talking great, and the mic wasn't recording. Even though the GoXLR was recording the mic, I can hear it like I can hear right now. But the, the OBS that, you know, I used to record with the program was just not picking it up i had to mute it and unmute it and now it's picking it up so i'm looking at it i see that it's working now so welcome to today's video let's hop into a gameplay guys i wasn't trying to do hard point or our nuketown or raid again but i clicked hard point where does it say i clicked hard point and we got raid and i'm not gonna pass that up all righty we're hopping right into it uh i do not have the mac 10 dark matter like i wanted to i'm kind of in that spot where after i got the dark matter done Sure, the MAG-10 is a great gun, but I really like... I love the 74U when I use a um, SMG. And since I don't really have any intentions of like really wanting to use the MAG-10, I just I just don't care to get the MAG-10 like gold right now. I mean, at least until it just becomes like... Alrighty. That was... Ah, dang it, dude. This last gameplay. I'm so upset that that last video didn't go through because I actually had a great recording great gameplay I was talking about everything I was son of a gun and now I'm getting smoked I was actually doing decent I am still on keyboard and mouse and I even mentioned that we've been playing Valorant on stream which is awesome but the best part about Valorant is you know I've never played it before so unlike Call of Duty like when I die I don't think to myself man if I was on controller I would have got that guy like I think on Call of Duty like I always think every time I die I'm like man if I was on controller I would have got that guy it's a mental block so I've been having a hard time playing Call of Duty until I get better at keyboard and mouse but we've been streaming Valorant and it's been awesome but don't you worry your pretty little faces I'm gonna I'm gonna pop off right here for you guys no oh i got double teamed i was gonna say did that guy who was shooting kill me he didn't okay that doesn't make me feel as bad uh but i'm gonna pop off for you guys right here right now we're gonna go we're gonna do this thing melon i cannot kill i am 100 in a higher skill based matchmaking because that last lobby i went like 40 plus and 20 ish so what are you gonna do that's this call of duty for you and that is actually what i was primarily talking about in my like video that you guys will never see unfortunately uh, don't have stim shots like I thought. Okay. Okay. Perfect aim. I'm just now I'm just like nervous I guess I don't know. I gotta kill melon here. I can't even kill him. I'm so sad But what I was talking about is that call of duty man like I love it, right? But it sucks right now. I have dark matter done. This game is fantastic. Cold War's fantastic But I have dark matter done and there's still no league play So I just don't know what to do. So we've been playing Valorant and that game is amazing. I've been wanting to play CSGO again and Overwatch again, which is the main reason why I actually switched back to keyboard and mouse. So I could flawlessly switch between those games without, you know, like just like staying in practice the whole time, you know, without going back to controller and keyboard. I'm just staying on the keyboard and mouse the whole time, feeling confident the whole time. And that was the plan. And I wanted to play CSGO the other day on stream, but Dent suggested that we play, uh oh. Just suggested that we play. You just slid canceled on me, dude. That no one was doing that the last time. And everyone's using AK 47s. I feel like I have to do it now. That game, if you guys don't know that gun, it has been GA'd by the pros because it is so good. So, AKA, if you don't know what that means, it means the gun is so good, even though Call of Duty won't ban it in competitive, the pros have banned it amongst themselves. That is so shot. My shots are that bad, dude. What is happening to me? Another thing I mentioned in the video that you guys will never see is that. Shout out to everyone who's been gifting subs and subscribing over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash Rudy Patootie. It has been amazing. We are already at 37 subscribers on there. I had no idea that we were even close to like such a big number like that. And because of that, we have four new emote slots, which we've created. They are, we still have the Edgar emote, which is awesome. You know, everyone's favorite. And then we have, we've added the blockade, the TIG, and the dents. The blockade one, you just spell Blake, but obviously you don't type them out. You just, um, you know, go to the emotes tab and click on them or whatever. But yeah, we've added those guys as emotes, which is awesome. And I also updated all the sub badge icons. I, I put it on Twitter if you guys want to see what they look like. But basically, when you sub, you know, you get your Edgar emote, your uh, sub badge. And then, oh, okay. Didn't see that guy till last second. You get your, I'm out of ammo. Did I, I don't have scavenger because this is like a search and destroy class. Dang it. Uh, but you have your, is there a gun here that I can grab? Excuse me. I'll take this Krig 6 and destroy you. No, I will not. 
when you sub, you get the base Edgar sub badge. Uh, once you hit two months, you're out of bronze Edgar, which is like kind of awesome. Uh, and then whatever the next step is, I don't know if it's like three months or what, but then it's a uh, silver Edgar, then it goes to gold Edgar, then it goes to like a bluish color. I'm not really sure like what I was going for there, but it's blue. And then after a year of subscribing, you get the rainbow Edgar, the top of the line Edgar, which is what you want. It's pretty awesome. I have stim shots on this class, which is pretty cool. Just not scavenger. How did I not kill that guy? I suck. Dude, this, <laughs> oh, this is how it always happens. Every time, man. I had actually had a good gameplay, good commentary, good flow. We were vibing out. And now here I am choking like a madman. You guys might have just heard that sound. Uh, that sound was unfortunately the sound saying that I need to clock back in for my lunch break here soon. Normally, you know, I have my lunch break. I record my video and I have plenty of time afterwards to edit it. Today, I do not because I have to. Re I want to edit it. Thankfully, I started editing it right away instead of like messing around, like watching YouTube or something. Is now, you know, perfect. Thankfully, I have a, you know, I have enough time to at least like record another video. 14 and 13, I'm doing terrible. And then I can just edit this and upload it right before six o'clock, right? Right before it's supposed to go live. It'll be ready to go for you guys who are obviously watching it right now. So, hello. Okay, I actually got a kill there. That's pretty awesome. Uh, something I wanted to say though, so a couple things actually. This game's almost over, bad timing. But the rumor is that the next game is going to be a sledgehammer game. It could be World War Three or Advanced Warfare Two. What do you guys think like about that? Like, what do you guys think it's going to be? Which one do you want it to be? Which one do you actually think it's going to be? I personally think it's going to be like a World War Three, not World War Two. Uh, World War Three, like re or not remake, but like game through sledgehammer. I don't think there's any way in any world they go back to jetpacks like for Advanced Warfare Two. Just because, like, the amount of hate that they got. And, like, they're, like, on thin ice. I mean, they've basically been fired and then brought back in. Probably because Infinity Ward and Treyarch was like, hey, we want to make amazing... Like, we're making good games. We want to make amazing games. And we need another... You know, we need an out a year. We need to bring Sledgehammer back in. Which is probably, like, why they're back in. So maybe they could do, like, an Advanced Warfare. Just, um, like... All the extra suits have been EMP'd or whatever, so then there's no... I mean, it's gonna have to say boots on the ground is basically what I'm getting at here. And then the other thing is... So, like I said, we've been playing Valorant. It's awesome. I'm, like, glad we found this game. I'm definitely still... Where did this guy... Oh, he's over here by where the dogs come out. When the dog kill streak uh, finally comes out. But we've been... What, what score did I go? 18 to 13. What a significantly far worse gameplay, but I'm sorry, guys. Uh, but we've been playing Valorant. It's awesome. It's basically CSGO 2. And I'm going to continue to stream that, but let me know what you guys think. I want to keep this primarily Call of Duty because, or for the YouTube channel, because this is where I'm most comfortable. I know how to hop into a game, do like average, sometimes better than average, especially, you know, right now on keyboard and mouse, still working on that. But I know how to hop into a game, make a game in one, like one go. And I feel comfortable doing it. Now on Valorant, I could learn how to do it if you guys wanted to, or if you guys want me to stay on Call of Duty. Mix it up. We'll figure it out. I would never fully switch from Call of Duty, just so we're clear. Call of Duty will forever be my favorite game. Just that right now, like I said earlier, I have Dark Matter done. There's no leak play yet. So there's not a lot of incentive to play the game. I finally, like, finally, like, had the urge, because I feel, like, comfortable enough on keyboard and mouse, I finally had the urge to play Warzone. But it's, like, this worst meta that everyone's complaining about. And so we're just playing against DMRs, and it just wasn't fun. Although it was fun one time when I got a DMR 2 type from, like, across the map. That was fun. Other than that, though, it sucks. Because the DMR and the MAC-10, we were playing with Block A the other day, and someone killed me, and I called out I got sniped because I died instantly. It was a freaking MAC-10. I thought this dude ran around the corner and just no-scoped me. He just killed me with the MAC-10, shot me in the head, and I instantly died. It was crazy. But that is going to do it for today's video. Guys, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe on your way out. Let me know how you're doing today. And once again, don't forget, let me know what do you think should, like, what will the next game be? If it's going to be by Sledgehammer, because I'm pretty sure it's like all but confirmed it's through Sledgehammer. So let me know. Do you think it's going to be like a World War III? Like, because that's what Sledgehammer, Sledgehammer did Advanced Warfare in World War II, if you didn't know that. So it will be Advanced Warfare 2. Or it'll be World War III. Will be a new title. If it is Advanced Warfare 2, you think we're gonna get exosuits back or maybe it'll be like an emp i really i just don't see exosuits ever coming back they had a ton of backlash and also warzone like how are they gonna implement that into warzone so we don't know what's gonna happen thank you guys for watching today's video i'll see you guys all later and goodbye